Well, hello, so you've got yourself a home line weed whacker. This is, I think, a UT26 model. And uh, you want to know how to reload it. I've taken, you don't ever have to take it apart to reload it, but I just took it apart because I wanted to show um, kind of how things work inside of there. So I'm just going to lay it out on the bench here a little bit differently. Once in a while, maybe once, once a year or every, you know, 10 hours of use, something like that. Um, basically, this part goes in there. And uh, this is the cover that you see on the outside, like so. It's going to sit on there like that. It clicks on with these two little tabs, tab here, tab here. Like I said, you shouldn't have to take this off that often, <laughs> maybe, maybe ever. But I took it off just so we can see what goes on inside. So once this is clipped on, you can clearly see there's a hole on either side. And that, when it turns in the right position, match up with you can see there's a hole at the bottom of the spool there so all i've done is just just pushed it into place as easy as that as long as the tabs line up it's not going anywhere now so you've used your initial bit of uh line now to reload it it's easy all you do is this line up this arrow with the two holes there's one hole there one hole there so we're going to give that a little twist it actually clicks into place you're ready. You don't need to do anything else on this to get ready for the line. Step two is to throw out the line that uh, that came with the machine because it's it's trash, it's thin, and it's garbage. Buy yourself some good stuff. This stuff is, uh, I got this at Home Depot, and I don't know if you can really see it, but it is heavy duty. It's got like a triangle shape to it. So this stuff has some real good bite to it. You can hear this, you can hear the difference in the engine running when this stuff's on there because it, uh, it cuts into the wind and works really well so so that's that's the good stuff you're going to take your length of line like i said two arm lengths about that there's a number of feet in the manual but i just that's just what I, even one arm length uh, from one fingertip to the other is good now you're going to pull it through until it's exactly halfway so you should have an equal length on this side and equal length on this side i'm going to do that right now okay. and once you have that in equal on either side all you do is hold hold the gray portion of this and uh, you can kind of twist twist this piece here by hand about to press it, press it down a little bit just keep turning this gray part here the, the light gray part hold this piece turn this piece clockwise until uh, you're gonna find one hopefully both of these ends are uh, are about that far away from the spool here I'll show you here it is. Like I said, I'm holding the gray piece, turning this piece. Just keep turning. It's easy to turn. If it's not easy to turn, you've got a dirt buildup inside of there. So, right there, that's, uh, I could probably do one more click. There we go. So that's not quite touching the, the cutting piece here. Uh, this side is probably a little bit longer because I didn't have it exactly centered, but you can trim that off now, right there. Or uh, just simply use it, fire it up and it'll self-cut there. So this really is that easy to load. This took me seconds. There's no reason for this to take any more than seconds to reload. Maybe a minute. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for your home light uh, reloading the spool. Thanks for watching.